So this is iteration 7 of my uh, toy, the Shield of Olympus. Um, so within this iteration, we were tasked to uh, really look into like how play is important. Oh, as you can see, there's Yoda in the background. <laughs> um, and how like a lack of play can lead to social negativity and uh, kind of when play goes too far and can be uh, become cruel in a sense. So. Play is important in the aspect that um, it exposes to people to new things. Um, it allows people to think differently, work together as a team, um, if, if teams are involved or like say you're playing a co-op game, obviously. Um, not only does it foster teamwork, it fosters um, socialization as well. Um, me personally, I'm an introvert, <laughs> severe introvert. Um, so I'm not a very social person, so to say. Um, but when I play games with others, I tend to go out of my shell because obviously we share like in game, in, in a game or multiple games, um, to the point where I feel essentially comfortable and I feel like I can relate to them in a way. Um, through play, I have actually made friends that I still talk to. I've, I've, I talk to some people that I met through playing Among Us, through League of Legends, um, you know, it's a wide variety of games that I've actually ex been able to talk with people that I have played with. Um, I'll admit that I became more of an introvert when I moved overseas, and that was mainly due to the fact that I didn't exactly have anybody my age close around. I had Marines that were around me, um, because my dad was in charge of the ones that were stationed at the embassies, but, you know, they were off doing their own thing and everything, but, I mean, they would, they would play video games with me and do stuff, but, like, we would play pool and stuff like that, but beyond that, I never really uh, hung out with many people outside of school, just because mainly it was either a far, far drive to their place, or uh, there just wasn't any time because I didn't have a ride or anything. Um, but yeah, I'd say that kind of stemmed where I became more of an introvert. Um, I had my own game systems, but at the time, like I had the Wii, so none of my friends really had the Wii, and there was really no kind of like way for us to to play in multiple areas, and then living in different countries. On top of that, was a bit. Um, Uh, like, being isolated from society to a point of not, like, interacting can obviously lead to social negativity. Um, for me, I'm not socially negative, I'm just more of an introvert. Um, but, obviously people that are severely more introverted than me they'll probably feel a, a way towards social negativity. Um, I think one thing that contributes to that is to social negativity is like bullying. I think when I first started getting into League of Legends, I played like online matches. Now I really just play like TFT because I can play by myself and not on a team. Um, but when I first started playing League, I was very new to it. Um, and I got paired up with, uh, three players that one of them just absolutely ripped into me it was telling me I was a bad gamer I suck at the game I need to stay back don't bother helping just like stay in the base and I was like no I'm not that kind of player like I need to play so I can experience how to get better um so stuff like that I never really let it get me down people tra talk trash all the time I like when it's friendly competition between me and my friends I'll talk trash um, but it never gets to a point where it's like overwhelming or it's like in a bad way. It's more like, you know, in a in a goading like come at me. Like especially when we play Super Smash Bros. I can get pretty intense, but at the end of the day, we're all still friends. <laughs> we can handle a little bit of uh, uh, aggravation and conversation and goading in some ish in some places when it comes to playing games like Super Smash. Um, after. My experience with like League of Legends, when it came to that one person that was very negative, um, there were some other games that I played where I did them online, but I experienced the same stuff, but I kind of just like avoided the game altogether. 
Not mainly because of the negativity that I experienced, but mainly just because um, the game, like, either didn't appeal to me, like, I didn't particularly care for it, I thought, oh, it's not really for me, so I'll just move on to a different one. Um, some of them I've, I've went back on and, and looked at now in the future. Um, some I'm able to play. Obviously, I'm a lot better at it. I'm not a kid that, you know, is, is, is having a difficult time trying to figure out game mechanics and stuff, so I'm able to figure out stuff a lot quicker. Um, some games I don't play um, for either obvious reasons, either they're obsolete or they're no longer running and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I... When it comes to someone saying, like, I was just playing, I feel like in that sense it's just a way to serve it, like, as a, as a justifying reason um, for their actions and what they say. So, like, obviously when it comes to me designing my Shield of Olympus, I want that feeling of protection within it, you know? So, I feel like if the person using it was in a situation where they were in danger, like, I, for me personally, I would feel, um, honored that they w or you know I would, I would feel emotional that they use my shield itself as a way of protection from the world um that would be if someone were to do that that would be just like i can't even describe it because it would uh, it blur the lines together between play and connecting with the premise of the shield itself um yeah, I think that's mainly primarily it. When it comes to the toy, I mean, it's, it's, my Shield of Olympus is meant to foster gameplay. Obviously, people, it doesn't matter who wields it, um, the same feeling of protection and the usages are, are apparent and available for every player, regardless of their, like, level, play style, whether they're noobs, whether they're not noobs, you know, it's to each their own. Um, I wanted to create a toy that everybody can use. It's not limited to one person. Uh, and I feel that I portrayed that accurately. And through the use of my shield, obviously people can foster play together, whether it be through cosplay or LARP or anything like that, or even just kind of using it as a prop. I feel like it enhances conversation and then also allows for relationships to develop also. And it also works as like a social piece also. If you were to like wear it outside and obviously people would be interested and be like oh where'd you get the shield so stuff like that but yeah um yeah once again this was iteration seven of my toy the shield of olympus i know i didn't really show it this time i figured um you know you've seen enough of it but if you really want to see the shield of olympus here it is once again nothing's really changed since the last iteration um but yeah it's, i'm proud of the work i've done with my shield and i'm i'm glad of the it accurately displays my premise. Thank you.